Okay, let's go back over to the beam area where Zena McLaughlin, Claire Cribb's teammate, is about to uh, perform on the beam. She's a 13-year-old out of Melbourne. Won the all-around at the 1994 Junior National Juniors in her country. At the 94 Victorian Championships, she was first all-around and first on this event. So this is a good event for her, but as a 13-year-old, I mean, experience is so important on the balance beam, so um, you can't expect the same amount of poise from a youngster on this event. I heard we're seeing these mounts again. It's a roundup layout step, but to a great landing. The score for Maduna over on the floor, by the way, was a 9.425. She's moving through a leap combination. Again, the way that the gymnast can get bonus is through D and E elements and bonus combination combining tricks. And here's a combination. Back handspring, layout, step up, back handspring. And she let the shoulder go a little. It's so important on the balance beam to stay completely tight, to pull up in your middle, is what they say. It's your center of gravity. This is an amazing display of flexibility and balance. Is that a one-arm handstand? It, it was for a brief moment. Wow. She's extremely flexible, and it's so pretty to watch gyms who are this flexible because it's all about lines. She's keeping her forehead high, not really staring down at her feet that much. <laughs> that is something to look for, though. And in an inexperienced athlete on this event, it's kind of uncomfortable for them to keep their eyes off of the balance beam. She showed us another display of flexibility, getting ready for her dismount. A roundup, double full, a hop on the landing, a little off to the side, but a pretty good routine. Was that going off on the side uh, intentional? No, she should be really lined up with the balance beam, but since she was twisting, she kind of turned off to the side. Here comes the one-arm handstand. I was shocked to watch now it. Now, just imagine the amount of strength this takes as well. Not only the flexibility issue, but the strength. This is sort of a plant, and she's holding her, her, her entire body up on one arm. That's a very unique move. And the dismount. Let's watch her double full again. It's a round off. She does one back flip with two twists. She crosses her legs in the air and takes a little hop on the landing. But a nice job. Zena McLaughlin from Melbourne completes her performance. The Kangaroos are working towards a team title. We'll be back with more when our coverage returns to Atlanta. We're back at the Gwinnett Civic and Cultural Center. John Neighbor and Maura Driscoll as we're watching the first rotation of the B flight of gymnasts. This is Mariana Webster, a 15-year-old high school freshman on the vault. She's already completed her first vault. The higher of the two scores will count towards the team and the all-around totals. And I believe Steve Nuno told me she'll be doing a Yurchenko uh, with a full twist, and that's a round-off entry vault. And then she'll be doing one flip with one complete twist. Steve Nuno, her coach, on the near side of the vault approach. Again, on this event, what you're looking for is height off of the horse and distance away from the horse. Here she goes, a round up before the board, and a full twist in your chinko. She was a little low. She got a pretty good amount of distance, but she, her first ball was actually her, her chinko with a completely stretched layout with no twist. Well, let's take a look one more time. Again, what the judges are looking for, height off of the horse and distance away. Let's see what kind of repulsion she gets off the horse. She has a back hands when she pushes off the horse, starts to twist, her body's straight, she has to pike down because she wasn't rotating that well, and therefore she had to step forward. Took a hop there. Now that vault is not worth a 10.0, so even if she did it perfectly, she would not be able to score a perfect 10. This is her first vault. It was her Yurchenko in a completely stretched position, a laid out Yurchenko, that is only worth a 9.6. So even if it was done perfectly, she could, that's the highest she could score it. And it received a 9.025 for her first vault. And so if the second vault scores higher, that's the score she'll carry with her. This is her teammate, Mina Kim, a 13-year-old. A member of the 94-95 junior national team. Mina is just an incredible little gymnast. She finished fifth at the junior national championships, and I think you should probably remember her name. She's going to be doing a handspring front in the pike position. Again, it's not worth <laughs> it's not worth the 10.0. She didn't get much distance away from the horse, but I don't know how she could because she's so slight. She got a lot of height, though. She did. 
Now, there's a chance Steve Nuno may be telling her that she should try this vault, the same vault, with a half twist, which is a little bit more valuable. It's worth a 9.9. .9. Here's another look at it. She gets her heel behind her head. Nice, tight pike position, but she's so close to the horse. She needs to push harder through her arm to get that further distance. And the second vault for Marianna Webster, an 8.750, so she will keep the 9.025 into the all-around competition. Again, the reason why that score was so low, if you couldn't tell at home, is because that vault is not valued at a perfect 10. It's only worth a 9.6. Mina Kim's final attempt at the vault coming up. Both these young ladies represent the Dynamo team on which Shannon Miller will be competing in just a moment. Let's see if she adds a twist to this. A hamstring front pike. No, she slipped her hands there, wasn't able to even push at all, and couldn't even bring the somersault around. wonder what Steve tells her to get her to nod and acknowledge immediately. He's basically telling her what went wrong there, even though she knows and she's kind of agreeing, saying, I know, I know what I did. And you can really feel exactly what happened in the air if you have that body awareness. Let's take another look at it here. We can see exactly what happened. She has a good, strong run. She approaches the horse. She slipped. Did you see her right hand slipped? She wasn't able to get the full pour, push off the horse and obviously under-rotated it. So she knew during the somersault she wasn't going to be able to bring yeah. it all the way around. And you have to make a split-second decision. If she were going to do a half twist on that, it would have been much more dangerous. So she had to make that decision in the air. Really? She decided in the air not to twist? Well, it's depending on what kind of vault that she called. If she called a half uh, half twist at the beginning and it was unsafe to do, then she probably could have decided in the air not to do it. 9.0 on the first vault. Now, if we take a look over at the uneven bars, Samantha Muleman was the second performer for the Cincinnati team. And, uh, she's an 18-year-old high school senior. Samantha is a member of the 94-95 Senior National Team. Mary Lee Tracy from the Cincinnati Gymnastics Academy has four members on the Senior National Team. Here comes one of her release moves, a piked Jaeger. That is an E-move, high flying, just like I said. It's worth two-tenths of bonus. It's a requirement on this event that the gymnasts have two release moves. And these pirouette combinations into a double back dismount. A decent routine for Sam. Okay, we'll bring you those scores in just a moment. We'll take a short break. Please stay with us as the Kodak Invitational continues here outside of the host city, the 1996 Olympic Games.